I'll walk you through how to use the object selection tool, which is powered by machine learning. First, I'll need to install the requisite machine learning model in order to use this feature. The easiest way to do this is to try and switch to the object selection tool. A notification will appear, prompting me to navigate to the settings dialog by clicking this button. Here, I can click install for the segmentation model, which is used for the tool. Now that this model is installed, I can switch to the object selection tool. But crucially, I also want to make sure I have a suitable layer selected. I'll select the background layer, which contains the image information. Subject inference will run momentarily. Then I'll be able to move my cursor around the document to identify different objects marked with a hatch overlay. To make a selection of an object, I can single click over it. As you can see, this makes short work of selecting the entire train. I might choose to invert this selection, then add a curves adjustment with Command M on Mac, Control M on Windows, and deselect with Command D on Mac, Control D on Windows. I can now use this adjustment to darken the rest of the image, making the main subject stand out. Here's another quick example. I'll switch to the object selection tool, then hover over the waterfall to highlight it. Now I can break the object selection down into components, which helps to isolate areas of the image. If I hold Option on Mac, Alt on Windows, notice that I now just have the waterfall itself selected. You can break this down even further into parts, which I'll explore in another example. But for now, I want to select all the water in the image, so I'll release Option then single click. With the selection active, I'll go to Layer, New Live Filter Layer, Sharpen, Clarity, to add a live clarity filter, then deselect. And I'll increase the strength slider to bring out more structure in just the water detail, avoiding the surrounding areas. I'll briefly show you how to break down a selection further into parts. If I take a portrait image here, then hover over the subject's face and hold Option to select Components, we'll see it selects the skin on the face and hands. Now, still holding Option or Alt, if I then also hold Shift, this breaks the selection down further into parts. So now I'm just selecting the face. If I move across to the skin of the right arm, only that gets selected. Generally, this is most useful for portraiture, where you want to select the skin, but only specific parts of it. However, it's worth experimenting on other areas or subjects as well. For example, if I just hold Option over the hair, it doesn't quite isolate it effectively from the shirt. Using Shift as well does, however. For my final example, I'll show you how to combine the object selection tool with a selection refinement workflow. This dragonfly is quite a tricky subject, and sometimes you may find you have to move around the image to find the selection target that you want. What you can do is click drag and draw a box around the entire subject to help identify it. Then release the mouse button to select it. I'll click the branch to select that as well. Then click Refine up here to enter Selection Refinement. With my matting brush, I just want to mat over a few areas to improve the selection, including the wings, as I don't want these to be fully opaque. I'll click Apply to commit my refined selection. Then I'll invert the selection, add a curves adjustment, and deselect. I can now darken the background detail, really making the dragonfly stand out. And there we go. That was a look at the object selection tool. Thank you for watching.